Shut up and sit down. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Scott here. Hope everybody's doing well. So today we're at the slog, and uh, I got an idea for a build here. I mean, not really in the settlement. It's outside the vanilla build area. Now, there are a lot of mods that expand the build area, you know, past the vanilla borders and things like that. Uh, so if you don't have one, well, my first question is why? don't you have one uh but then my next one is you know it's fun to build outside the build area the normal build area because you can add a lot more uh to your settlements so we're here at the slog and you can see i haven't really done anything here uh yet what i wanted to do was the diner that's around the uh on the front over here i don't want to show it to you yet but as I was looking around on the Nexus, I found a mod that made that little diner over there a player home. And I thought it was a good idea, uh, but I thought, why not build one myself? So I kind of did. Uh, that is the diner that was or is still here. But I've made it my own little player compound now. Uh... For me to use and this wasn't a mod I built all of this all around it and inside of it uh, so we'll start out you can see kind of through the window there there's the uh, diner that was there and I put down some wooden prefabs all the way around it and I've added some walls to it of course and then of course some more decorations around the outside as you can see uh, just to make it look a little more lived in and things like that. I did add a couple of uh, turrets up on top. I uh, did place the car there. And then I uh, absolutely love the place uh, everywhere, anywhere mod uh, on the Nexus. It is a little easier to use than the one on the Xbox. But I put some lights in the headlights of the car. I thought it was, I thought it would look pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, the prefabs around the outside and then around this end of it, you can see here the, uh, it slopes off fairly quickly. And there wasn't much as far in the way of ground uh, in front of the diner where the door was. So I do have a mod called Ground, which adds ground, exactly what it says. And then I've got a few other mods that add, uh, like these rock faces here. So I made it look like it was really supposed to be built that way. And I'm really, really happy with the way this came out. I really think it came out cool. So let's get inside and check it out. You've seen a look at the outside. Uh, I can't remember what mod it is that adds those raider poles with the uh, hanging gnomes on it. I really thought it was cool. And uh, that one, there's a gnome in the cage there. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. And then I put up a power door to get in to keep anybody and everything out, even though we are outside the build area. Uh, I don't know if it's the mods or updates from Bethesda, but settlers roam. And I don't want anybody, I didn't want anybody in there. So I set up a two switch power door. Switch on this side and a switch on the inside. So we'll go inside here. We'll shut the door. And we'll start looking around. We'll start at this end and go around. Uh, I really wanted to make it a lived-in area and a fully functional uh, player home, player compound. Uh, so, you know, and I wanted to make it look like you've, you've been here a while. You know, so you've collected a bunch of junk and, uh, you know, of course, the workbenches and things like that. And, you know, I mean, I've added things like some animatronics, like the <laughs> the Nuka Rocket Girl from 
Bar Harbor there, or uh, Nuka World, I'm sorry. But you got the weapons bench, plenty of storage in here with the containers, uh, chemistry station, And of course, the weapons bench, you know, because y'all wanted to make sure you, you had a little bit of everything. Then I've added a few windows you could look out on the slog or, you know, one of the, if the slog gets attacked, a couple of the spawn points are out here next by that bus. Was able to add in a uh, power armor station here so you can bring in your power armor. little gun area here you want to work on your guns and then we'll come out into the uh, little courtyard here and I really wanted to you know <laughs> make it uh, lower friendly you know, post-war type stuff, really scrappy. So I've added lots and lots. I mean, I went nuts on decorations on this. There's no way I could have built this, even just this little area on the Xbox. I would have, I would have crashed the game. And then I figured uh, those of us that are old enough, like me, showing my age a little bit, you remember the show Fall Guy? And it had uh, starred uh, Lee Majors. Well, his house, he had a bathtub outside. So if you want to take a bath, you can sit outside under the sky at night. Have a few cold beverages. And if you want to look up over the fence, because there is a death claw that uh, spawns every now and then underneath that bridge across the water there. Another animatronic from Nuka World there. Of course, you got to have a place for dog meat, so I gave him a uh, his own little dog house over here. Then we'll go up on top, and I made a little recreation area up here, a little sitting area, you know, next to the water. You're going to be doing some fishing for some food, and then it's a nice place to come up and sit. Look out over everything. You can see here where I was able to fit the uh, prefabs here against the building. And then to get up on top, I did have to add the stairs so you didn't have to jump up there all the time. Then I've added a little sitting area up here. You can sit up here and just relax and look over the slog. Saugus Ironworks is right over there. It's not a bad view from up here, really. I mean, you're looking out over the lake. And you see here I've added some turrets for a little bit of security. Now we'll go back down and check out the inside. And I've kind of divided it up into two rooms. You remember there was some, there was nothing but junk in here. I mean, just trash. I've uh, got the scrap everything mod, of course, that, that lets me scrap everything. So I turned this area into my uh, into my kitchen and dining area. And this fridge here, this is from the Better Stores mod. I absolutely love it because it refills with Nuka products like Nuka Quantum, Victory, you know, things like that. It, it refills every so often. Give it a nice little cooking area here so you can uh, cook. I believe this is from Creative Clutter. That is a working uh, food food station, so you can cook anything off of that. Then I put up a, a couple of walls just to divide it out from the bedroom here. This is from Creative Clutter also. This is a post-war gaming terminal. 
Uh, you can play your game, you know, the holotape games on here. And, of course, you got to have a little medical area to take care of yourself. And, you know, hygiene's important. So I gave, a, you know, the mirror and the shave kit. And this sink is actually was added by uh, Andrew CX in the Unlock Settlement Objects mod. That's actually a uh, chemistry station, as you see here. So, that adds to it, you know, give yourself a little sink in here. Then, of course, you got your clothing. You got a place for your clothes. And a nice bed for you to sleep in. Lockers for storage. Then I added the neon. Some of the neon is from uh, Better Stores. I really like that mod. So this is my little player compound. Hope you all enjoyed this because I had a lot of fun making it. It, it was just great. And you can see the ground mod here. Kind of, it really does blend kind of right in. So if you liked it, please hit that like button. I appreciate that so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Got a lot more content coming out. Got more builds I'm thinking up. I'm also uh, still working on my biker bar build challenge. Doing little bits at a time. It, that's That'll be coming up uh, in July, that one that's coming out. But if you guys got anything else you want to see, you know, any ideas for anything, please leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer questions, read comments. I love, love it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.